Isn't it ironic? An email advising staff members against speaking with the media about the inner workings of Donald Trump's campaign has been leaked. We have sent periodic reminders of our communications and press policy when interacting with reporters and media members, a memo signed by Trump co-campaign chairs Chris La Civita and Susie Wiles-Reed. Unless you have been authorized by senior leadership or have received permission from an authorized member of the communications team, you should not be independently speaking or communicating with any member of the press on or off the record. We have done a great job at preventing leaks, and that has been because everyone knows what the policy is and what we expect from everyone," the email obtained by NBC News continued. Information is power and the press doesn't give a D if you lose your job because you spoke out of school. The Trump campaign has not personally confirmed the authenticity of the memo. As the email made rounds on social media, ex-users flooded the platform with comments poking fun at the amusing situation. One person wrote, the act of leaking this email is so beautifully ironic that it should be lauded as a groundbreaking new form of performance art, and a second person quipped, while well, they completely failed at preventing leaks. A third user joked, clearly someone on his campaign team didn't get the memo. Despite his campaign's efforts to keep the wrong information from being leaked to the public, Trump himself sparked backlash after making bold claims about what the world would be like now if he had been re-elected in 2020. There was no inflation under Trump. We had no problems the world was safe, he said in a campaign video shared on September 4. There was no terrorist attacks under Trump. Russia wasn't taking land under Trump. Israel would have never been attacked under Trump. Think of it. All of the difference we'd have, he continued. No inflation, no wars, it'd be a much different world right now, a much better world. In response, one frustrated Trump critic wrote on X, lies lies and more lies. And another added, Trump equals delusional. A third penned, we all know that when the twice impeached, four-time indicted and 34-time convicted, treasonous former dictator moves his lips, he is lying.